Okay, I um, went to school with Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. They both were in, in study hall with me at Glenville High School. And uh, uh, Siegel was a local boy. And Schuster came from Canada. And uh, during the Depression, his family moved to Cleveland. One of them used to come to school every day in his pajamas under his clothes. So he never had to uh, uh, change them. He just would take his put his pajamas on and wear clothes. And as I say, they sat near me in study hall, and we, we exchanged pleasantries. And uh, so I got to know them. At that time, all the cartoonists in the country, for what reason, I don't know, were located in Cleveland. And these two wrote the story of uh, Superman. They uh, eventually, of course, Superman became a tremendous hero. And they made movies and everything else. So that all the uh, cartoonists signed away their rights to, uh, I guess it was a newspaper chain. I think they paid them uh, $1,000 a piece, or maybe it was more, but I think it was 1000 uh, for their permanent rights to that. And then they sold it for tremendous amounts of money. And uh, these guys had nothing. Uh, I know one of them, possibly both of them, went to work as post office clerks. And eventually, when the word got out, the newspaper chain took them out of a post office job, said that, and paid them possibly, possibly uh, $20,000 a year, which wasn't enough to exist on. And as the Depression came along, they finally raised it to 40000 a year. But they still had to keep their jobs. Uh, in the post office, it just wasn't enough to live on. Lois Lane, uh, Lois, and she was the prettiest girl in the class. I think Siegel was a Clevelander, and he, he worshipped her from afar. She would have nothing to do with him. She was the prettiest girl around. <clears throat> and so he named <clears throat> the heroine uh, that uh, Superman was after, named Lois, because of her. And of course, she instead married a guy. Uh, rich family or something. She, and that, that's how Lois Lane became a heroine. And I guess that's the whole story.